What's going on gamers? Today we're going over how to change your CSGO server name. Bomb has been planted. Before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell in order to stay updated on all of our future videos. When you're playing CSGO with your friends on your server, you may want to have a little bit of extra fun. Sometimes, it can be something as simple as changing the server name. Luckily, with these dedicated servers, you're able to customize the server name that appears in-game, whether you want to have some fun and make a silly name, or make one that's easily accessible and recognizable, it's up to you. Changing these settings can be a bit confusing for somebody who's unfamiliar with our panel, but today, in this short tutorial, we'll be going over how to change the name. First thing you need to do is head into your Apex panel and click on the red stop button in order to stop your server. Once it's stopped, you'll go to the left hand side where you see customizations and select that. Then you're going to scroll down to the server settings area and under host name, you'll see something along the lines of Apex hosting CSGO server. You're going to erase that and fill it in with whatever you want to put. I'm going to name mine Rusuki 12s Gamer Zone. Once you're all done and you're ready to head back to the panel, you're going to scroll up to the top of the page where you see your server panel name and select it. Then you're going to either start or restart your server to get the changes finalized. Now let's go over some quick common issues. First is if there's a server error and for some reason nothing changes. This is just essentially worth a double check to make sure that you typed in whatever you wanted to type in correctly under host name and making sure that you restart the server one more time. Next is how can you tell? Well, there's a couple of different places to look. First, you can check in the Steam Servers tab and the other place you can check is in game under the servers list. You should be able to see the names that have been changed respectively. Once you know you've done it correctly, you should be able to see it in your server, no problem. Well gamers, that was a pretty quick tutorial, but hopefully a helpful one. The panel can be daunting for newcomers, so simple things like this are really helpful to have you get comfortable with the program. Well gamers, that'll just about do it for this one. As always, I hope that you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.